To be honest, blogging is really good and really fun to do, and they say that it can be really profitable. But of course, do not expect $5,000 per month once you just started out. What I propose is that you aim for firstly $500 and then $1,000 per month because it is possible. As they say, the competition is tough, but you just have to choose the right niche. That's maybe the most important part that you can just right now think of. Choosing a niche is really, really important for you. First of all, you got to think of it as a just gathering certain audience. And then you have to know that those people have some kind of interests. So if, for example, that's like cooking for something else, you have to know that you can monetize that in multiple ways. First of all, of course, it's going to be Google AdSense, you know, but for beginners, that's hard to achieve. You have certain requirements, which you can read all about. I'm not going to waste your time with it. But what I suggest to you and what a lot of other people, successful people suggest is that you start to find certain other fields of monetization before you get into Google AdSense program. And that is why you can see this all around the internet. Niche down, niche down, niche down. They say all of this because before, before like, I don't know, 10 years ago, you could just gather a lot of audience and there's not a lot of blogs, right? But nowadays, as they say, riches is in the niches because you have to specify a certain group of people, certain audience, certain real estate, let's call it that way, and you have to nurture that audience. Have a look at this blog, for example. This is something about cooking, about kitchen, about ingredients, about recipes, and they do have like newsletter as well, something that you can think of as well. And of course, they've got a lot of content. They even got videos, they've got pictures, but something that they use really, really well is this, you know? So this, which you can see here, is Amazon's affiliate link. When you click on it, you will be redirected to this pan. And of course, if I purchase this one now, they will receive a commission. It's not theirs pan, they don't produce pans, you know, you know what affiliate marketing is. In this case, what you have to do, you just have to drive the traffic to certain products and the company will give you the commission. In this case, it's Amazon and Amazon is really good for it. First of all, you don't have to have your own products. Second of all, you don't have to ship them. And all you gotta do is to get the traffic and the more traffic you get, well, we know what happens. That is the first thing that you got to do if you even just like think of getting a blog because you have to put certain affiliate links in there because you want to get money as fast as possible. That is why it's really, really important for you to get a niche, which is going to be like easy to find products for or something entirely else. You can just deal with the sponsorships. But in that case as well, niche is really, really important because for example, if you are into a fitness blog, a lot of these fitness companies, I don't know, maybe Nike, Adidas, let's hope, will just come to you and they will just want to grab certain attention from your audience. And everybody is doing this, you know. And why I tell you to use Amazon first is they just have really good cookies in their affiliate program. If you haven't heard about these, well, you just have to bring the traffic to Amazon and they can buy anything. You know, within this 24 hour window, you will get commission for anything they purchase. Why is this good? Well, let's just suppose that I'm just like into buying some pants and I've clicked on that link from that blog. But what usually happens is that, for example, I don't like the price or I don't like like the size of this pen. So what people usually do, they just scroll down and they just look at all of these like recommended items. And for example, I choose this one. Now what happens? Well, even if I bought this one and not that one, they will get the commission from this. But you know what else is cool? You know how people are. Suddenly in like, I don't know, three to four or five hours, they will remember that they or their kid wanted a new keyboard. So they will just go and search through these keyboards. And when they purchase this, you will get the commission again. So it doesn't matter which kind of category. You just have to lead the traffic to Amazon. And that's why I really, really love it. You know, you don't have to find the winning products. All you got to do is to bring the traffic after you, of course, join yourself into Amazon's affiliate marketing program. But you have to specify the source of your traffic and that's going to be your blog. So be sure to put like, I don't know, at least four to five blog posts on there 
and then just apply to the program. Now, it is really good for you to use Google Trends, especially if you just like are searching for a niche, because Google Trends will give you the keywords. It'll just give you for free, of course, some insight what people are searching for, and you can use those search results in order for you to make an answers just to find a niche for yourself. For example, have a look at this. If I just type in cooking, let's just stick to that niche, you will see that the score is really good. Everything above 70 is really good. And you have all these like categories in which you can choose. You can choose like worldwide or only the country that you live in. And you have a lot of data in here for free. All right. For example, let's just switch to the United States. You can just click on it and then you will see that in the United States is not so good when it comes to cooking, right? It's easier to go to McDonald's or Burger King. So do not start your blog if you want the attention from the US people. What I recommend you do if you want to go with like blogging is to go on a deeper research than it is to just watch one YouTube video. There is a lot of information online and if you dig deep, you will just find what you were looking for. But in all honesty, it's not like easy. It's not like free. It's not like get rich overnight scheme. You know, something like that doesn't exist. You have to work hard on it. You know, you will have to post at least two to three times a week. You will have to search for the content. You will have to write for it. And that's why I tell you when choosing a niche, you just have to think about something that you are passionate about or at least something that you have certain knowledge about because it's going to be easier for you to create that loads of content every day, you know? So just choose a niche, something that is close to you, at least something that you like. You can, of course, hire someone else to like make content for you. That's always a solution. Some of these, of course, will not rip you off. As you can see, only $5 for 500 words SEO content. This is really, really important if you want to rank high. But of course, feel free to explore. You can use ChatGPT as well if you wanted to, but make sure that you at least have some input into it and not only just copy and pasting from ChatGPT because you're going to have hard time with Google AdSense. You know, they can detect that, they can see that, and they will, of course, give you problems, give you like trouble when you just like apply for a Google AdSense program, you know? Just stay away from ChatGPT as much as you can. It's good to give you an outline. You can just ask it to give you an outline for a blog post about something. And this outline is really good because it can just like put you out of your writer's block and then you can just follow all these little sections, all these like little points, and it can give you like, for example, some really good trivia. So for example, tell me more about knife maintenance and it'll give you some information, but you have to use this information wisely. Always change everything in it just use it as a research tool. It's a really good research tool, this ChatGPT and all of these other AI tools because it just cuts down the time for the research, right? So if you wanted to write a blog, just use it as a research purpose. You will have hard time monetizing this with Google AdSense if you just go and copy and paste. So don't just go copy and paste, work on it. And of course, do a lot more research on what blogging is how to achieve that one, and I wish you good luck. Work hard for it, and everything is going to be okay. I'll catch you later.